Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the concept of resolution modifiers in the Angular. So what is this resolution Angular? Uh, resolution modifiers. So let's try to have a detailed explanation of this Angular resolution modifiers. So, so Angular's resolution modifiers can fall into three categories. So we will be having three, four things. First, we will fall into three categories. So what to do if Angular doesn't find what you are looking for? So that for that one, we will be using is optional and where to start looking that is skip self and where to stop looking that is host and self. So I will try to explain you these all the things. So let's try to understand. So Angular resolution modifier can be modified using the following modifiers. So Angular resolution modifiers can be done using the following modifiers. What is this one? First one is the optional. So we have seen it, right? Definition option is what to do if Angular doesn't find what you are looking for. So that means, so let's try to say that optional thing. So the first resolution factor is the optional thing. I will, I will explain you with a real time example also about this one. What is this optional resolution modifier? Optional means if you try to mention any service that you are injecting as an optional, it indicates that the injection services is an optional. So that means if it is not resolved, so that means if the angler doesn't able to find the tau service means at runtime, the service is resolved as null instead of throwing an error. Normally, when you are trying to inject a service in the constructor or using the inject method, what will happen? It will try to find the service. If it is not able to find the service instance, then it will throw an error. Instead of that one, instead of throwing an error, if you mention this one as an optional, then the service will be resolved as a null instead of throwing an error. So that is the reason we will be using the optional and the another one which we will be using is the self. So this limits the search for the service to the current element injector. Current element injector means to the current component only it will limit the search of the service. So this is useful when you want to inject a service only if it is available in the current host element. Current host element means whatever the element you are having right. The component if it is available the service then this self will be used. And another one is the skip self. Skip self means as I already understood about the name itself. Skip self means the current injector will be skipped. Starts the search for the service in the parent element injector instead of the current one. It will start searching for it will start search from the parent element injector. This is useful when you want to use a service from a parent component or a directive. So that is one thing. And the last one which I want to tell you is the host directive. So this is one of the critical thing. So you need to understand about this host and also a self looks like one and the same only designates the current component as the last group in the injector tree when searching for providers this is useful when you want to ensure that a service is resolved from the current component so that is one thing so now <coughs> you need to understand another thing also so what i want to tell you is you can combine these modifiers except for so you can you can also use the combination of this modifier but except you cannot use the host and self at a time so the combination the exceptions are so we cannot use the host and self here so host and self should not be used come with a combination and also another one is skip self and self is also not used so another one is which you should not use is the skip self and also skill why because so here it will it leads to an ambiguity skip self you are telling to skip the current element and again you are telling it as a self the combination goes away and the host and self also i will try to explain you uh, so now let's try to understand the real time implementation of this one so now you understood what are the resolution modifiers and what are the different for resolution modifiers are there first one is the optional self skip self and also the host the first one which i want to explain you is the optional thing so the optional thing is a pretty straightforward. So for example, let's say that here I am having a thing. So here I will create two elements, two components, ng, gc, parent, let's assume. So I am creating a new component that is nothing but a parent. We will have a parent child relationship, something like that, so that you can able to understand it very clearly. So I am creating a component ng, gc, parent. Let's try to create it. So the parent component has been created. Now I here I will create another component that is nothing but child component. So let's try to create the child in the same scenario. So here the child component has also been created. Let's go to the parent component or app component first. So I am going into the app component and here I will inject the parent component so that we can able to see the output parent component. And here in this one, I will open the component.html app.component.html 
instead of having this one app iphone parent okay so here i'll be having a app iphone parent now you will be able to see the parent works here fine everything is fine let's go into the parent.component.html file and here in this parent i will use an app iphone child let's try to use it like this app iphone child and it will throw an error why because parent.component.ts doesn't have the import thing okay let's go here parent component okay so that's it so now parent component is also finished so if you try to refresh this page see the problem is i am using the parent component instead of parent component child component it should be child component find it so the child works is also working so now so this is the total code which i want to tell you now here we are having a parent component and inside the child component now let's say that we are having a service that is nothing but my, my service let's create a my service and here in these services, I will create a new service that is nothing but my service. My service dot ts file sample service I am creating, and here this one will be export class my service, and this one should be an injectable one. Okay, and here I will have a constructor. So okay, fine. This is a simple service. So we need to check that whether the service instance it is available or not. So now, for example, let's say that if you go to the parent.component.ts file and directly I want to inject this service, okay, constructor. So here I will use private my service of type my service, okay. I am trying to inject the service and I will try to console.log of console.log of this dot my service and I will use this dot my service. That's it. So now here I am trying to check the my service of my service and let's inject this my service also. So that's it. So now if you are if you are able to see, cannot find an injectable because I haven't injected that one, I think. Okay, fine. Let's try to import this injectable also. Fine. Now if you see the output for this one, here you will you are getting an error that null injector error, my service, no provider for the my service. Why? Because I am unable, it is telling that I am unable to find the no provider for my service in the parent.component.ts file. In the parent.component.ts file, you are trying to use a my service. So that my service, I am unable to use that my service. It is trying to sell. Why? Because this my service is an injectable. We have it provided in the root. So that means it is not initialized in the root level. So that the instance will be available for all the components. We haven't did, did it like that. So now what we need to do here, automatically this one will throw, throw an error. So in this scenario, for example, let's say that I don't want to throw a scenario. So I want to don't want to throw an error instead of that one. So if the my service instance is not able to find it means just return the null. So I want to do it like this. In that scenario, what you need to do it is you need to declare this one as optional and this should be imported from the Angular core. And I have declared it as an optional. Now if you try to see this optional, now here you will be able to see that instead of throwing an error, you are able to see this one as a null. Now you can check with the conditions in a such a way that so that the uh, service you can handle the exception cases and another one what you for example let's say that in the providers if it is there my service is there let's assume now you will be able to get this one so here if i like try to use it now you will be able to get this my service now this time you are able to get the service instance but if you didn't mention this one means so you are able to see that optional thing so this is one thing and now for example let's say that okay fine so this is an optional thing so fine Let's say that you are in a child parent, you are in a child thing, okay? Child.component.ts file and here, and I want to use the same my service in the child. Constructor private my service of type my service, okay? I am trying to uh, constructor private my service, okay? So my service, let's try to inject this one. And here I will try to do console.log this dot my service so that's it so now when i'm trying to use this one then also we are able to get an error that so this child component also unable to get unable to find it so here what we can do it we can mention it as an option so that it will return the null or otherwise i can provide it at the top as the providers my service okay so you can provide it like this so that you can able to get the service instance but for example let's say that if i don't provide it here it will throw an error instead of this one the parent has this inst has this provider okay so the parent has this provider so now what will happen automatically the service will be available to this one okay so the service will be available to this one so this is how you will be able to see it
now for example let's say that this providers uh, this one is not available okay and i want this one and i here i want this service to be checked only in its current element injector only or this current component only i want to check this service instance it is available or not if it is not available means then i need to throw an error then what i can do here i can use it as in self okay so here i can use it as in self now if i try to use it as in self then you will get an error why because so here it is telling that my service i am unable to find it in the node injector and now if you provide it here in the providers okay and here you will get an error my service now you will be able to see that my service now it is working so this is the understanding of this self thing so now we have learned about the optional which is an optional and also self so self means if you mention the self means this service instance is uh, is searched in only in the providers in the current component only if you don't provide this one if you don't provide the self means if you don't provide the providers also it will search it will get it from the parent it's not a problem so this is what about the optional and self in the next video i will try to explain you about the skip self and also host resolution modifier and also we'll try to understand the difference between the host and the self resolution modifier also hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you